So yeah, my name is Jessica, and I went to LA to study computer science and filmmaking at a virtual reality studio called Emblematic Studios. So Emblematic was the first company to try to do VR in documentaries, and it's called immersive journalism. And like, you know, VR, you put the headset on, and you go into like a virtual 3D space. Um, well, the way they do this is they take like a 3D, a real life object, and then they take um, the photo and videogrammetry of the object and translate the points into a computer program like Maya, and then make that compatible with the VR software. Um, and okay, so the founder of this company, Nani De La Vena, like Sarah was saying, um, she's actually known as like the godmother of virtual reality. Um, she started out working with someone who would become the founder of Oculus, which is now a multi-billion dollar company, and um, they sell headsets and they do everything, and um, they're really huge in VR. Oops, wrong way. So, um, Emblematic does a lot of activism in their films. This, these are some of the ones that I got to see. The one way over there does um, the psychological effects of living in solitary confinement. There was one about the melting icebergs in Greenland. There's one about poverty in the inner city. And there's one about um, the stink extinction of languages. And those are just a couple of them. So. While I was there, I mostly worked on um, one of their beta projects called Reach. Now, Reach is the first browser-based volumetric space. So it basically lets everyday people create their own VR scenes. Um, so I worked specifically showing how the platform could be used in advertisement and real estate. Um, Emblematic could then take my projects and show them to investors and customers to show that someone with no education could still figure out how it works. <laughs> I did a bunch of other stuff too, like a whole bunch of research. Um, I researched haptics, which is can either be a glove or a suit, and it like mimics the feeling of touch, so in VR, so you can feel like you're picking things up. Um, I did a lot of research on the newest headsets because they were looking into buying new equipment. Um, and then I did some research on their next project, but I probably shouldn't say a whole lot about that one. Um, I went to an innovation collab to watch um, Nani do a speak about, um, there was a bunch of women in tech. That was the conference. And then they showed me how to set up the headsets and I did some demos of the, their films for some of the other interns that were only there for like a week. And then I did some basic information with grant writing and some troubleshooting on their headsets that weren't working by resyncing their trackers. So while I was there, I actually lived with three host families. The, um, the first one, Winter and Fred, I lived with for a week. They were an art dealer and a horse jumper. So um, Winter actually introduced me to one of her friends who is neighbors with Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> so I learned everyone knows everyone in LA. Um, the next person, Erin, I lived with for two weeks. Um, she's a film producer. She actually showed me a sizzle reel of one of the films that she was working on, which is cool. Also, while I was living with her, I got really sick, but she took care of me, so she was just an amazing person. Um, and then I lived with Patricia, who is a professor at UCLA. Um, she actually used to work in admissions, so while I was living with her, she gave me a bunch of tips on applying to colleges this year, so that was really helpful. And of course, both of her kids work in film, so there's another connection. Um, outside of work, I also got to see all of LA. I went to the Griffith Observatory and watched a planetarium show, and then that's actually where they shot a scene from La La Land, the movie, so that's cool. And then, of course, art museums, as recommended by Fred, so they were amazing. And then Patricia was actually a competitive rower, so she took me on a rowboat down the Venice Canals and taught me how to row. Um, and then LA, the food, of course. <laughs> um, what I learned, obviously I learned a whole bunch about VR technology, but I also learned some things I didn't expect to. I learned how to speak up for myself in a professional setting and be more independent. Um, also, I learned a lot about the colleges in the area and college admission tips, which I didn't expect, but it was super helpful this year. Um, my advice, you're definitely going to be out of your comfort zone, but um, you're going to learn and grow so much as a person, so it's definitely worth it. 
And then make sure to make the connections with people around you. You never know who you're going to be talking to. One of the other interns I was working with is actually works in admissions in the film department at one of the schools I was looking at. Which is a crazy coincidence. But. And then also, obviously, just have fun. So thank you. <laughs>